It's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I store my planner supplies. This includes my page flags, sticky notes, list pads, pens, pencils, washi tape, scrapbook paper, and planner clips. Okay, I'm going to start on the left side of my little office area and kind of work my way around until I get to my craft station. So this is the first little area in my office that I have planner supplies. Now this right here is an Erin Condren acrylic box and you might be wondering what is on the top. The print on the top, I chose the option where you could customize the lid and this is actually a Kate Spade print that I downloaded from her website for free. I know, I think, I don't know if she does it every month or every couple of months, but she has a free little download on her, I think it's her blog, where you can download it and use it as wallpaper or such. So that is where I got that little print. And then inside of this box is where I keep all of my page flags. I would say that these are all Target Dollar Spot page flags but they are actually not most of them are but recently in a few of my planner society kits i have gotten some adorable little page flags as well so i have some of those in here and i've tried to recently i was hoarding them for a while but i have tried to kind of get rid of some of them i've given some in giveaways and i've actually sold some with some other planner supplies because i mean really this is just for decoration I don't really use the page flags a whole lot because honestly they don't stick very well or the Target ones don't. So I just kind of have them in there as a colorful decoration in my office and I like them. And back here at the very back is my acrylic organizer. There are one, two, three, four big drawers and then two small drawers at the top. And I got this off of Amazon. My main purpose in getting this little organizer was because my washi drawer organizer that I was using, I had crammed too many washi rolls in there. So I decided to order something else. But then when I got this in, I thought, you know what? That is ridiculous. I do not need more washi tape than that. I just want to have one little drawer in the bottom that actually holds washi tape. Everything else that you are going to see holds other planner accessories. And here is my new rule. I have told myself that I have this new rule. I'm not allowed to purchase any more planner supplies, sticky notes, list pads, etc., unless I have space in this organizer. So if I don't have space in this organizer and I love a list pad at Target, I'm not allowed to buy it until I use one up from the drawer. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you what's in each one of these drawers. And starting from the top, the top basically three drawers holds all of my sticky notes. And I get a lot of sticky notes as well from uh, my Planner Society kits. And I'm not going to go through each one of them. Y'all kind of know what sticky notes look like. I have a variety of ones. And you guys, when I moved all of these things into this organizer, I went through and got rid of the ones I knew I was not going to use. And I'm sure I'll probably end up doing that again in the future. Because, I mean, really, do I need this many sets of sticky notes? And then the next two drawers, big drawers, hold all of my list pads. And just like my sticky notes, I have gotten rid of some of my list pads that I was not using and that were not my favorite. Because I've mentioned this before, when I started with my planner decorating, I kind of went crazy in the Target dollar spot. And every time I was there, I felt I needed every single thing they had. And I accumulated so many things that just were not my style. So I got rid of them and kind of learned my lesson. And then the bottom holds all of my extra washi tape rolls. So those are the first two organizers that hold my planner supplies in my office. The first one here is for page flags and the one at the back holds my extra washi tape, my list pads, and my sticky notes. 
Now, the second thing that you see, if you're going from left to right in my office, this is on my desk, and this is my Bedford organizer from Pottery Barn, and I cannot remember the exact name of the organizer, but I will make sure to put that in the description below so you can check it out. Now, I bought this, and I bought the Bedford 2 drawer organizer for my mailing system. So, um, I really like them. I know they were a tad bit expensive, but I have really got my money's worth, and I have really enjoyed these two organizing products. So, also, here's my Hoot Little Scentsy, and inside of this, to kind of bring fall into my house, I have the Cedar Cider um, scent bar, and it is fabulous. If you've never tried that scent, I highly recommend it. So in my little Bedford organizer here, this organizer did have most of my planner supplies in it. And then I ordered my little pin carousel that you're going to see in a second. So this doesn't have as much as it did have in it. So I just have some little uh, random pins in here. And then I have my hole punch. I don't have anything in here at the moment. And then this is my 2015-16 Erin Condren planner. This is an Erin Condren notebook. So currently I have one notebook that I'm using. So when I get finished and I fill that one up, that is the next one I'm going to use. And if you've never tried an Erin Condren notebook, I highly recommend them. I will be doing a short video over how I'm using my Erin Condren notebook in a couple of months. So look for that. Then here I just have, this is my book tracker. I'm not sure if y'all have ever seen this. I started reading in 2015. So what I do here is I just track every single book, starting with 2015. So every month if I finish a book, I just write it in here and I've stamped. I'm using the Studio L2E stamps on the month. So this, I really enjoy using that May Designs book. And this is my newest addition to my little notebook collection. And I got this when it was on sale last summer, 2015. Didn't know how, what I was going to use it for, but decided to use it to put all of my favorite things. So anytime that I share a favorite thing with you guys, I will write it on here. So when I'm making new lists, I'm not saying the same products every single time. So those have been really helpful. Then I haven't really used this as much. I had started putting down what what um, companies I was showcasing each month for my Plan With Me videos. So I kind of need to go in and update this as well. But that is also a May Designs book. Then the last couple of things I have in here. I have two little just random notepads in case I need to write something down really fast. Then I have this little calendar came with my... Um, life planner i haven't used it it's one of those perpetual calendars but i have it in here and just in case i want to start using it and then i have the three Erin condren sticker books so that is all that i have in my little bedford organizer moving right along the next thing that you will see on my desk is my probably one of my favorite planner organizers and this is my washi organizer that I purchased off of Amazon. Now make sure that you check my links below because I will have links to all of these products that I talk about. Okay this is supposed to be a sunglass organizer. It has three divided compartments in each one of the drawers. So overall you have nine sections for washi tape and I would probably say I have about 90 rolls of washi tape in this organizer. And these are all my favorites that are in here. So I'm going to pull each drawer out and let you see what it looks like. Now, I think I paid roughly about $16 for this on Amazon. But Amazon is one of those places where it could be $16 today, $19.99 tomorrow, $15.99 the next day. So you kind of have to watch it. So it could be a different price once I put the link in the description below. So just kind of watch it. Okay, this is kind of my white yellow and pink washi tapes and most of these came from the planner society scotch brand and michaels okay my second drawer contains washi tapes that are blue green and purple in color 
And then last but not least, my bottom drawer has basically the neutrals and um, my little thin washi. So this has grays and gold, black, and then I have all of my thin washi. And then it's got some that won't fit in my top drawer. So I have some cat washi and some basically school alphabet type of washi tape. So I have plenty of room in this organizer to add a few rolls. So I could take some from my other organizer and put it in here. So that just sits on my desk so it's easy to access at any moment. Now you might be wondering what is this sitting over here on the side of this acrylic organizer. And I guess I could fill you in on what that is. Now these are kits that I have purchased that I am going to use in upcoming weekly spreads. So I have this one that I purchased. It's from It's Planning Time. It's a Halloween set that I'm gonna use in October. Oh, this is my new, these are my new tabs that I purchased from Ashley Designs and I have them over here. So I'll remember to share them in a planner supplies haul. Uh, my Walking Dead stickers from Planner Penny that I'm using in October for the week of October 23rd, I think it is, when The Walking Dead is coming back on TV. We're huge fans. Then I have my Golden Girls sticker set that I got from Planner Penny. And you guys, I'm a huge Golden Girls fan. When I saw these were available, I said, I am adding another Plan With Me video to my September slash October schedule. So I put in one just because I wanted to share those awesome stickers with you guys. And then last but not least, my Hocus Pocus stickers that you will see in my October Plan With Me from Pretty Sheepy. Now we are on top of my craft station. And I shared this in my last planner supply haul video, but this is my new pen carousel. I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite, probably my second favorite planner organizers that I have. Now I purchased this because I was running out of room in my little Bedford organizer that you saw a few minutes ago. So I needed something else and I saw several people that had bought the pen carousel from Michaels, I think it's the Recollections brand, but I don't live near a Michaels and at the time they weren't on sale and it was going to cost me a lot to get it shipped. Even if I used a coupon, I felt it was a little bit expensive for the product. So if you could get it half off in a store, it would be great, but I don't live near one. So I had to come up with a different solution. So I started searching online and I found this spinning I think they call it a spinning organizer it almost looks identical to the recollections one and it was $29.99 and then I got free shipping so I thought it was a steal and I will tell you this Amazon did a fabulous job packing this and shipping it to me there was tons of um nice bubble wrap inside of it and it was very well taken care of so no issues with shipping and getting it to me so in this organizer i have my papermate ink joy pens some pens i've gotten from the planner society here i have my first set of erin condren elastic bands i kind of color coded them so these are kind of my gold and my reddish color ones then spinning it around this second spot here. These are for my Christmas countdown. I put them here so my kids wouldn't mess with them. Picture of my kids and my nephew. Then here I have my Statler pens, my Jelly Roll pens, and some highlighters. And in this drawer, I just have a set of tweezers in case I need to place down a small sticker or small stickers. Then, next one here, I just have some notepads that I'm currently using. So, as you can see, I have a ton of list pads. I have list pads here, and I have list pads in the acrylic organizer you saw in the beginning. So, I have list pads. I have my Erin Condren rulers that I use faithfully. And then I have just some planner clips on these little elastic bands here. These are from Shining Stars Boutique, and this is from the Planner Society. Now, spinning it around, I have more list pads. This is where I'm keeping my current set of Sharpies. And you guys, the other Sharpies that I have are in my little pen pouch that I carry with me daily. This little organizer here just has some of my Erin Condren stickers in it. 
And then this little drawer has my blues and dark color Erin Condren elastic bands. And then here I have my Erin Condren markers. And then I have my Statler pens. And I just have some of my Oli clips right here because I am uncertain on what I want to hang on these four little hooks. And then on the center I have a pair of scissors. Then this is my Chrissy Ann Designs pen pouch. It says it's a planner thing you wouldn't understand. Then I have this pen pouch from Shop Bando. I think that's how you pronounce it. And remember, there are links in the description below. This is the external that I had to transfer all of my 2014 and 2015 files to because the external that travels with me every single day was getting completely full, so I had to take everything that was not 2016 off of it. So that is what I have in my pen organizer. In the center of my crafting station is my second acrylic box from Erin Condren. Now, this once again is a Kate Spade print. And I downloaded this print off of a blog. And if I can figure out what blog it was, I will make sure to leave the link below. But inside of this, I have the white down here is Epsom salt. Thank you to whoever mentioned that to me. And I wanted my planner clips to stand up. I didn't want to put them in a drawer. I wanted you to be able to see them if you walked into my office because I think they're cute. That's why I bought them. I really don't use them in my planner. They're just decoration or I will use them as like props for my photos for Facebook and Instagram. So I just like to look at them. So they are all standing up inside of this acrylic box with Epsom salt. And this Epsom salt has been in there since uh, probably spring and it still looks good. I don't have any issues with that. And most of the time I leave the lid on the box. Now, the back side of my craft station, you will see how I store my scrapbook paper. Now, these little drawer units that you are seeing, there are actually three here, three that contain three drawers each, are Sterilite wide drawer organizers that I purchased from Walmart. Now, I will put a link in the description below to the Walmart link where you can purchase them, but I think think if you purchase them online, you have to get them in a set. I'm not sure if it's a set of four, but if you go to your local Walmart, they do have them to where you can just buy one at a time. And I can't remember the exact price I paid for these, but they were under $10. So I'm going to take you through and I'm going to show you what I have in each one of these nine drawers. So let me zoom in. So the very top organizer the three drawers it has the planner society scrapbook paper and you guys i also save the bags that i get in my kit too because i can use my punches to punch out the little bags and use them in my planner or on cards or envelopes anything like that so i always keep those as well second drawer is amy tangerine scrapbook paper and the third drawer is dear lizzie now, for my second organizer, I have Maggie Holmes, Chamel, and Hobby Lobby. So, the Maggie Holmes, you have seen this one a lot. This is the piece of scrapbook paper, and that's why it is on the top, that I use most often in pictures on Instagram. If I don't use my craft station, I will use this piece of scrapbook paper here as a background. So, this is Maggie Holmes. Then I have Chamel. And then I just have any type of random pieces of scrapbook paper that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then my very bottom organizer. Let me zoom in. Is for holiday and then solid. So I've got two drawers for solid scrapbook paper. And I use probably those the most often. So holiday, any type, most of these came from Hobby Lobby. So um, I get these probably in singles as well. When I just need one sheet, I'll just purchase this sheet from Hobby Lobby. So, and you see, I do not throw scrapbook paper away when I have punched it out because there's still room in here to use um, some punches. 
then solid most of the solid scrap paper came from michael's so it's not divided out any certain way i just kind of put them in here Guys, that is how I store all of my scrapbook paper. And I have been using this method for probably four years now, and it's working great. I don't see any need to go in and change how I store my scrapbook paper. I like that everything is organized by um, designer. I know exactly where I need to go when I need certain pieces or certain colors of scrapbook paper. Last but definitely not least is my sticker organization. Now you have all seen this in a video about I think two months ago. If you've not seen my sticker organization video, I will make sure to leave that link in the description below. So check that out. But these are all of my better binders from Staples lined up. All of the white ones are my stickers. So I have Chrissy Ann Designs. These are just um, random stickers, Icon stickers, Libby & Co stickers, the Planner Society, and Planner Stickers by Shop. In the Planner Stickers by Shop binder, I have two little bees. It's planning time and pretty sheepy, and then plenty of space in the back to add different shops as I purchase more stickers. Now, this is my newest binder and it is a different color because it is not stickers these are my die cuts and i got this idea from somebody on instagram but i do make sure to put a cover sheet on each one of my binders this is michael's and these are i think this is the planner society the planner society and then this here is a target label and then I used my label maker to type out die cuts and embellishments. So in here, I have business card sleeves. And I took all of my embellishments and I put them together in sets. And I put them inside of these little business card organizers. So now if I need embellishments, I can just flip through here and I can see them all. They were in these little boxes. I don't think I have any of those boxes still in here. And I could not see what I had going on. So now I can see all of my embellishments. I can find what I need and I can just put the binder back. And I got the business card sleeves from Walmart. And that is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing how I store all of my planner supplies in my in-home office. If you like the planner organization type of videos, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.